And the result we saw were amazing. The, the, the capacity to compress that, that data was phenomenal. I've been working with MediaMass since its inception. I've always enjoyed building great solutions that were creating a lot of value for our clients and also be able to innovate in the industry by using all of the data that uh, MediaMass was gathering and using to transact in real time on digital media. So MediaMass was providing the ability for any marketer to transact in real time on any advertisement that was about to be displayed in an app or anywhere on the internet and make sure that we would run this auction in a fraction of a second so that we would allow for the best user experience possible. So it's really real-time buying of uh, media inventory. We've been able to transact on the inventory, but we were unable to run the right analytics and let alone machine learning on all of that data because the data was too massive for us to store. And this is where we needed a different solution to manage all of that data. So what happened to us is that we started by sampling, but very quickly we, we had to uh, reach the conclusion that any sample we could get would not be representative enough. So we had to find a solution to store more of the data so that we could make our models to learn based on a bigger data set. And then it, be, it became a question of cost. What I've been great for us is to really be able to sit down with the hydraulics and talk about our problems technology could fix. And I really like the discussion because hydraulics has never tried to sell us anything if it was not fit for us. And they were really listening carefully uh, to what we needed. We always try and want to retain uh, 16 months of data in advertising to be able to do quarter to quarter comparison. But on the other side, it, it was uh, more about having fresher data that we could query. Um, because all of a sudden it became easier to query the data from the day before. When in the past, we had to put strong processes in, in place to be able to load JSON files. Uh, that was also part of the value Hydraulics was providing us. We knew where the data would be, when and how quickly we could, we could query it. So retention on one end, but also freshness of the data was a very, very important value. Without Hydraulics, we would not have even dreamt to store that amount of data because we knew it was too expensive. All of a sudden, we could explain to the client, look, this data is stored here. You can query and you just pay for the queries. Storage is paid once by MediaMass. And that was an amazing value proposition. So this is where Hydraulics created an opportunity on that side of our business. Being able to identify the bid opportunity duplication so that we could build the right system for us to filter out all of the duplicates and only bid on unique impressions, which led us to reduce massively the capacity we were needing to just manage real-time buying. What I've seen happening over the past few years is that Considering the storage cost um, associated with the very, very fast and, and faster growth of the data volume, more and more companies had to aggregate data very quickly. So you had to, 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 you, you had to start from your own understanding of your business and start aggregating the data. But if six months later you want to use the data differently, you would need six more months to recreate a data set because you had to aggregate to be able to store it. All of a sudden with, with hydraulics, you can keep that data and you know you have it and you can apply different machine learning, uh, different art artificial intelligence solution. And we know that to be able to feed AI in the right way, we need transactional data. Hydraulics is allowing companies to store transactional data for a longer period so that clients and brands or any industry could feed the new algorithms they are building uh, with AI. So that's where I, th I see a massive potential.